Hi everybody. So today in maths we're going to be looking further into sharing and making equal groups. So let's have a look first of all. So we've got six eggs first of all and three baskets. So six eggs all together and we're going to split them into three baskets. So each basket has two eggs. So six eggs shared equally between three is two. So we've shared them equally between the baskets. So we can still use our knowledge of equal groups to share the total into equal groups. When we share, we say that we are dividing. And this is the division symbol there. That's what dividing means. So if Miss Hulm had 12 apples, can we share them equally between two groups? Pause the video and have a little think. Can you share 12 into two equal groups? You might need to draw it to help you. Let's have a look then. So let's share these apples into two equal groups to see if it works. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? We haven't got any apples left over and we've got six apples in each group. Therefore, 12 shared between two is six. Well done. OK, so 12 apples, two boxes. So that we can write that as 12 divided by two equals six. So let's take 20 cubes this time. So if we share them into two equal groups, can you complete the sentence? So you might need to get 20 pieces of Lego, 20 dolls, cars, sticks, whatever you've got in your house. You might just want to draw 20 counters. Can you split them into two equal groups? So like we've just done with the apples, if you draw yourself two boxes, 20 counters, can you put them into two equal groups? So when you've drawn one, cross it out so you know you've drawn it. So how many groups and how many cubes are there in each group? Off you go, pause the video and off you go. So if I put my pen on and then I can show you what the answers are. So we know that there are two groups. So that means 20 cubes shared between two is 10. Well done if you said that. Okay, this time I've got some strawberries. Miss Creaser has 12 strawberries and I'm going to share them between four plates. Have a little think, how can you share 12 between four and how many is it going to be? So again, you might want to draw four plates and then put your 12 strawberries, drawing them equally onto the plates. And then can you have a go at drawing the bar model? Pause the video and see if you can do it. OK, so let's have a look. So let's split these strawberries between the plates. OK, so we can put them three on each plate. Therefore, the bar model, we need three three, three and three. Four groups of three makes 12. Well done if you said that. So this time, how many strawberries have we got? Yeah, we've got 12 strawberries again, haven't we? Okay, how many children? Four children. So let's split the straw. We've got an extra child there, Snowball. We've got five children this time. We came running in at the last minute. So let's put the strawberries on the plates. Oh, hmm. What's happened this time? There are 12 strawberries. There are five children. Each child will get two strawberries, but there are two left over. So can we share these strawberries equally? No, we can't. So sometimes we can't share them equally between people. So there are two strawberries left over. So you can share 20 into other equal groups. Is this true and how do you know? So a little bit of a challenge for you there. Can you share 20? So we've done it into two equal groups. Can you share it into four? Can you share it into eight? Can you share it into 10 equal groups? You choose, have a little bit of an investigation and see if you can work it out. So yes, the answer is true, but you need to send your work on Tapestry to show me how you found out. So let's have a look then at these divisions. So looking at it as a division, how can we work out the answers to these questions? Pause the video and have a go. So did you have to make any exchanges for some? Yeah, of course you did, didn't you? Okay, because... The, we have to exchange some. Some we can't do, can we? 40 divided by 2, we know is 20. We can do that. That's absolutely fine. 40 divided by 5 is 8, so we know we can do that. 
Can you do 40 divided by 4? No, you can't, can you? Okay, because 40, does 40 go into 4? Yes, it does. I was trying to trick you out, wasn't it? It was 10. And then 40 divided by 10 is 4. Now, I like to trick you out there, don't I? Okay, well done if you did that. So we didn't have to make any exchanges that time, did we? Okay, because we knew there wasn't any left and everything was okay. What about this time then? Can we have a go at the divisions this time? So 20 divided by 5 is 4. 20 divided by 10 is 2. Well done if you did that. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Because look, that's the opposite of that. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. Well done. Can you see how we've just moved the thing numbers around to help us? Well done if you spotted that. Okay. Last one then. Dora has 20 apples. She shares them equally between four boxes. How many does she have? Pause the video if you need some more time. It is five, isn't it? Okay, because it's just like this one here. Well done, perfect. Okay, right, last one's over to you. I want you to read the problem and work out the answer. And then don't forget to send over your work on Tapestry. Well done, everybody, if you managed to do that challenge. Okay, so don't forget to send your work on Tapestry. Take care, everybody.